Welcome to the Ferguson Florissant School District. It is a pleasure to share with you highlights of the High Achievement for All Students initiatives through the use of technology in our school district. You will see several snapshots of how Ferguson Florissant School District utilizes first class 21st century skills to integrate technology into the classroom. Some of these programs include sound enhancement devices, smart boards, iPads, computer programs for literacy and mathematics, as well as Project Lead the Way for Engineering. Please feel free to visit our district at any time or visit our website at www.fergfloor.org. It is also important to note that the Ferguson Florissant School District is a leader in technology in the state. We currently service over 30 school districts technological needs and student data management. Thank you and enjoy. Thanks Dr. McCoy. Let's start our tour in our district's gifted education program, PROBE, and see how these young scholars are using iPads to not only learn, but to teach others. We're uh, piloting a program here in the Ferguson Florissant School District with the iPads to see how we can use them to engage the students and keep them motivated. It's been very successful so far. And all of the projects and things we're working with this year, the kids are very much excited to have their hands on a tablet computer. This is something that's new, cutting edge, and the engagement is very high with this project. The kids are very eager to get here every day, and as soon as we walk in, they grab their iPad, there's an assignment to get done. Uh, today we read the USA Today, did a summary of an article, discussed how that could affect us. Uh, we did some proofreading and, and today they're creating content. They're gonna write a script about the Constitution and we're gonna make a movie on the IMAX. So we're integrating the existing technology with our new mobile technology as well. They're exceeding the expectations that I set out because they're on task all the time and they wanna push the limits of the technology. I love having these iPads. My mom, I tell my mom about it and all my family about it, and they think it's really cool too. We're trying to expand it out, our 20 iPads that we have even further, where we're going out to the kindergarten uh, classes in, in our district and we're, we're having our sixth grade students read to them. And there's virtual books that are interactive the kindergartners are using. Uh, we're having them trace their letters, do some uh, phonics awareness, you know, sounds of letters, finding the colors and shapes. Kindergartners are doing an outstanding job. You would be surprised at five-year-olds, they, they, can, they can work an iPad and it's, uh, it's pretty amazing. Our next stop is Project Lead the Way. PLTW gets students on the path to engineering and technical careers and it's offered at all three district high schools. Project Lead the Way is a, uh, it's a national uh, project to get uh, students interested in engineering and uh, I teach the particular course of digital electronics. There's uh, basic courses, um, principles of engineering, introduction to engineering design, but there's also specific ones. There's a civil engineering, an aeronautical engineering, biomedical engineering things. So there's a lot of different topics that they can use. The point is to, to, to encourage uh, students to go into engineering. There's gonna be this big need in the next couple of decades for qualified engineers who know what they're doing. They can take this, they can get a good feel for the basics of what engineers do, and then make a decision about whether they want to go into that or not. It's both book work and hands-on work. And we, we do hand calculations on how to calculate the, the different components and circuits and what that means, but we'll also have them wire them physically on a, on a, on a proto board and uh, make the measurements with instruments and they'll also use computer software to model it and see how it was all related and they all give the same data and how it's all valid. Uh, the class was a, a very informative class. There was great teaching methods and information that I hadn't really known before. I would actually be a, a manufacturing engineer and that actually helps me to get ready for the design process of being a manufacturing engineer. I enjoyed the 3D modeling uh, especially. I think it's a great class. I mean, uh, the kids really enjoy it. They, they look forward to coming in, they get right to work. It's, uh, it's, it's really good. It was a great experience. Uh, if I could, I'd take it again. Document cameras are in use all over our district. Let's take a look at how they are used in an art class in McClure High School and a kindergarten class at Parker Road Elementary. This is a document camera and what we do, uh, we use it for demonstration purposes. So I can actually sit at my 
desk and demonstrate something rather small and it appears on the smart board across the room and the kids all over the classroom can see it. So they're not trying to look over each other if they were, if they were gathered around my desk, trying to strain to see what's going on. They're actually uh, able to see it all pretty well on the smart board because it's a lot larger. The camera actually helps me get what I need from the board instead of having to hassle the teacher all the time. They actually follow along and if they're not on this part of the assignment, they go ahead and work on something else and everybody's pretty quiet because I'm talking out to the whole class while I'm doing the demonstration and everybody hears the directions, everybody sees the demonstration. It's fabulous, it really helps a lot. What works so well with primary kids is that it makes everything accessible to everyone. When we are, when we are reading, we are able to, to make it big and kids are able to um, really attack the print okay, as, as a class. We edit together. Um, I also use it a lot for science and I'm able to record things. I've recorded um, little movies of, of, of books and things so I, I love it for that. They are very excited. Not only will they go up to, the, up to the board and point, but they will have a turn and they will come and they will present um, their work. It's very motivating for students to put their student work under, under this and, and poof, it's, it's, it's large. I really enjoy having this technology in my class. You get to see things really, really big. Smart boards can be found in classes at all levels and across the curriculum areas. There's just one more way students and teachers get connected and get ahead. I love the smart board. It's the best way to show any technology and to show our book and to use worksheets and to have the kids interact with the computer at the same time. Uh, the, I can have the kids come up and demonstrate things on the computer. I can have them do book work on the smart board and then if I go too quickly I can press print and I can have smart notes printed out for the whole entire day what I've done and then I just give them a copy of that. You can get so much curriculum put into one period and it's more efficient too. Textbooks are still great learning tools. But what do you do when textbooks hold you down? Try eMints. This is an eMints classroom. It's a state funded program where teachers were selected by a grant. I went through two years of training in order to operate and use this equipment effectively. We have 13 different stations for the students at their desks. We have a smart board, we have a scanner, we have a color and black and white printer, we have document camera, and a digital camera. They don't use textbooks as much as the other classrooms. We do a lot of our learning through the computer. Different websites, I have a bookmark site where we can go and access a lot of information. It's not like a free range search where they can just go wherever they want to go. It's all things that I have designed for them to use. With the EMIT system, you don't have to use the textbooks as much. And then since you get to use the computers, there are a lot more possibilities for learning new things and stuff. We use eMints to further embed the learning that we do, uh, say out of textbooks or trade books and things like that. We've set up a, we a classroom website. When we study obscure subjects that maybe the library doesn't have books on, the kids are able to go and do research that they wouldn't be able to do. We have online assessments here on our computers. It's very motivating for them. They love to get on the computer, share with each other, discuss with each other. That's a, a, that's a big component. Each and every one of them have picked their own topic to study, and we call it the never-ending project. And they can do comprehension activities to um, support their learning. For, for example, somebody is studying grizzly bears. It will culminate into an, uh, a project that she will report to the class. I'm doing a, a never ending project about grizzly bears and it's how I can save them and how they cannot be extinct. What I was going to do later in the year is I'm going to take all my knowledge and I'm just going to put it into this one little box and I'm going to take it to class and I'm going to do a lesson. Impatient? Can't wait for results? Response clickers let students and teachers track achievement immediately. We use the uh, response clickers. 
and uh, use them in, uh, with the smart board. Students can work at their own pace and I can go around then and more so individualize. You know, so many times in a classroom the kids don't, they don't want to raise their hand, they're afraid that they have the wrong answer and not sure what's going on. This actually gives me immediate feedback to where I can look to see if they've got the right answer. I can go around and help them individually while other students continue to work on. Or I can do it as a whole class where um, I put questions on a board or we answer questions out of the book. They'll all answer in on their clickers, the response clickers, and then I get that feedback right then and there and we'll go over problems together. And the kids, they really like it because it's something a little bit different. They, they kind of make it a competition in a sense. They're like, oh, almost all of us got it right. They're not on the spot, so to speak. I can just kind of walk around. I have it either on um, with this Mobi pad that I have or I even have it on the computer, depending on how I set it up in my classroom, what I'm gonna do for the day. This definitely improves student achievement. I've seen it um, just with my students last year that I had, um, coming back and checking on where they scored on different tests um, the previous year. They really get into it and want to answer. These days, there's more to PE than just puffing iron. Hey, put me down. In physical education, um, we are trying to utilize heart rate monitors within every class. We only have a class set, so we'd like more. They are expensive. They're a phenomenal tool to use because they can hold the kids accountable for where they were um, in their zone within a class. After we get them um, working in their, in their target heart rate zone at the end of class, we have a PDA and we can beam them and it can actually print out like an EKG and tell us where they were um, within the class heart rate wise and the kids can actually see reflection of how well they did in class. So it's a great tool to use. For some it's a big eye opener, the people that smoke, they, you know, it, how high their heart rates are and consistently, you know, what they're doing to the inside of their bodies. So that's a huge reflection for them and it really could signal um, parents, teachers, everybody, and catch a heart condition before it results in a way that we don't want it to go. The kids just think it's cool because they say, oh, my, my heart rate was, you know, stayed at this, you know, this amount for this long. Um, it's, it's been really good. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Sometimes little voices, or even big voices, need a little help. Ferguson Florson School District is using sound enhancement in classrooms across the district. Over and out. The sound enhancement system we use a lot in kindergarten, especially with reading a type of word on a board and then I'll pass the microphone to the kid and they have to read it out loud and they repeat, but it really enhances my voice. F-I-V-E spells five. Come on, stand up. This is our exercise this morning. Say F-I-V-E. F-I. V E F I V E I I don't hear you F I F I V E V E I use it a lot as far as getting the kids' attention. If I say class, they say yes and they can hear me more of like an echo. And we sing and dance with it a lot. I don't have to repeat myself. They really hear me the first time because my voice carries with the microphone without having to raise your voice. It's been working very great. Um, the kids can hear based on wherever they are sitting. I think that the technology is very good because sometimes if I'm in the corner, I can't like hear the teacher everywhere when she's over across the room talking to another student. But sometimes since the speaker is over there, I can hear it everywhere and I can learn that. The speakers are throughout the room, so anybody can hear. It actually helps a lot because I don't have to raise my voice when, I'm, when we're using the system. So when we're doing um, a round robin reading, it's, very, it's much easier for each kid to be able to be heard by the rest of the class. Uh, I think the new technology is good because uh, I have hearing problems sometimes and it helps me. We just got it hooked up to the um, smart board. So now we're going to be able to hear video, I mean, when we're showing videos or when we're looking, you know, science videos, then they can actually, everybody can hear. Well, we've been all over the district, but there's one more stop. That's right here. We're in McClure North Studio 4, home to the school district's cable program, FFTV, and McClure North Star News. Lights, camera, action. Good morning, McClure North. I'm Jasmine Banks. McClure North has had a video production program for over 20 years and the Ferguson Fluorescent School District has broadcast student productions on its cable television channel for the last nine years. 
This is the control room here at Studio 4. We actually have three studios here where students produce programming for a live closed circuit newscast every day. They produce uh, a recorded uh, production with uh, students from our gifted elementary program every day. And our students at McClure North and throughout the district contribute to programming that is produced 16 hours a week on uh, Charter Channel 986. We currently have studios at all three high schools, all three middle schools, and most of the elementary schools do some video production in the form of some kind of daily newscast. These programs give students the opportunity not only to learn valuable skills uh, in communication, but it also develops their confidence and uh, provides an opportunity to engage some students who otherwise might not stay in school. There are very few high schools where students have the opportunity to, on a daily basis, work in a sophisticated studio uh, using uh, up to seven cameras for their daily news production, uh, doing interviews, doing live weather forecasts. Some of this technology was even developed by students in the class. The software for the teleprompter we use was created by a student in this class several years ago who went on to um, get a degree from the Missouri University of Science and Technology and now works in a technology related field. Back to you Dr. McCoy. I hope you enjoyed this preview of Ferguson Florissant School District's High Achievement for All Students Technology Utilization. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me. It is important to also remember that Ferguson Florissant is a leader in this area and the state and beyond in the utilization of technology. Again, thank you for your time and look forward to seeing you soon.